Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the love and support on my bloodlust review last week. I really do appreciate it. It's doing the rounds, but we're getting there. So a little and often, that's the main thing. So thank you for all the love and support and the sharing of that video. Um, today I wanted to do, like I mentioned last week, it is my everyday go-to makeup routine minus i did say last week that my bloodlust review was going to be a wearable but look didn't turn out wearable so today is a mixture of a wearable bloodlust and my everyday makeup so i hope you guys enjoy it i'm not gonna ramble i always ramble so enjoy this video guys and i will see you at the end <laughs> outside whistling but starting off i've got a new i've also lost the lid to this it's probably still in my suitcase because we're still unpacking um i got this on friday it is the l'oreal hydro boost l'oreal hydrogenous aloe water can't remember who it was i was watching um i will link it down below I and mean, as you can tell my skin is not my friend at the moment i woke i've used this two days now and I woke up this morning and mine is here, but this is just because we've been out and about. And I don't know if anyone else has, when you're out in the cold, your scars kind of go a bit purple. I used this last night and yesterday morning and again this morning. And it is the Liquid Care for Dry and Sensitive Skin. Every morning and evening, alone or after your serum, apply one pump to the face and neck use instead of your daily moisturiser. And I, again, I'll link who it was who have been watching the last few weeks. Um, I'll link him down below. And it was if you've got very dry skin or large pores or oily to go for not necessarily serums, but gels, water gels, things like that. Intensive sort of stuff. So you literally just need one but i'm gonna do two because i'm i'm that kind of person right that is that done i've also got this new thing which i know i'm a bit late to the game it's the nyx pore filler primer base there she is because i needed a decent um primer sorry i've just replaced um put a new tongue bar in but it's very very painful to try and talk but this stuff is so good at just getting rid of everything But yeah, it's the same old what I use all the time. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Foundation. It's SPF 20, oil free, lasts up to 16 hours, flawless coverage, minimises imperfections. And now with break Breakthrough Skin Lock Technology for All Day Wear. Used with Lasting Perfection Concealer and Powder for Ultimate and Long Lasting Wear. And I use that in Cool Ivory. So base is down. I'm now going to go do these off camera because it takes me about half an hour. So a lot better. So now the eyebrows are done. I'm now going to go in. I'm not going to put my finger in it this time. We can do it. There we go. So I have used, oh, I need to pick, pick a different, different nail. This one I've used a hell of a lot. Wet Jewel we use all the time as well as Beauty Sleep. I use that quite a bit. But I want to try and do something not as intense. So we're going to be using doo -doo 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 -doo, Royal Pain, probably Vivid Mood again, and Rich High King even. Yeah, so we're going to go in with. So, oh, you know what? Forget the nail. Going in with Royal Pain, Vivid Mood, High King. This may come in somewhere, but I think it might be this one. But first of all, as you guys know from my previous video, have to use 
label order to set the eye and it is wealthy which is down here wealthy the same as last time just going in with wealthy and we're just going to set the eye I use Liberty Skin as a transition colour to kind of start with the crease and we will be using a lot of Bloodlust but I kind of just want to use all of them, you know what I'm like. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to carve out my crease. Once that is all buffed out, we're going, we're going, we're using the whole book collection, forget it. I've changed my idea right now on what I'm going to do. There's one in here that I want to use. Yeah, so I want to go in with Cake Mix and Ouch just to, again, carve out. I might just go in with Cake Mix, actually. I don't think I'll use Ouch because I want to use Bloodlust more than anything. We were traveling see as well I'm not going right into the inner corner I'm just gonna save that so it's just kind of drawing the outer corner because I've got quite hooded eyes anyway so it's just to try and bring that out even more and then I'm going to take my flat fluffy brush or flat edged fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go in with Royal Pain where is she there she is literally just a couple of dabs get rid of the excess and then I'm going to take my smaller fluffy brush and we're going to go in with High King just in this corner here. gonna bluff buff uh buff that up just so it isn't on a solid colour going to use the leftover concealer on the inner corner and you can see as well I'm not going all the way across like I normally do I'm just focusing mainly on this inner corner here so I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit. Normally I would wet it. I'm literally just gonna tap the excess on my finger of Beauty Sleep and then just tap that on the inner corner. So it's not making it too much, but it's just giving it that little bit of a, just brighten up that inner corner a bit more just because it is quite dark on the outside. And then just buffing that across in between the two but not taking it all the way across. It's literally just giving it that gradient effect. And there we go. Solid. So you can kind of see the gradient effect here that I'm trying to create. Um, I don't go underneath um, when I am going, when I'm for work, I don't go on the underneath. Sometimes I will do. Um, I may just take hiking and pull that under once I've done my concealer, which is next. Obviously, if I'm in a rush on my way to work, then I will just conceal under my eyes and on my chin and the tip of my nose. All depends on timing for me. I am just going in with my collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder. You guys have seen this on my favourites and also in most of my videos. I swear by this. It has a witch in it. I've started using it more all over my face rather than just under my eyes, especially when I'm having a breakout. But for work, it's mainly just under the eye. And then for the rest of my face... I'm taking my big fluffy brush, which you guys have seen loads of times, with 
everything's all not in order. My collection of pressed powder in candlelight. As you can see, this is very loved. I do need a new one. And then that just goes over the rest of my face. So my trusty collection console highlight and sculpt kit, which again, another very loved product. I swear by this stuff. It's very cool toned. I love it. And I'm just going to chisel out. And then I am going to take my fluffy brush and I just blend out that contour a bit more because the brush that I use to place doesn't really puff it out a lot. And also as well, this just kind of speeds everything up for me. Honestly, it looks harsh on camera, but in real life, in reality, it's all blended out. So it's not as, see, it looks like a solid line, but it isn't, it's quite blended out. And then for highlight, again, using my W7 Joe Kit, my highlight brush, and then just. And then my little placing brush for the lips. And then again, going back in with my W7. Obviously trying not to get rid of that contour. And then bit of under the brow yes I do do all this for work and then the inner eye I recently got this it is the Rimmel London Wonderlux volume full bodied moy volume and care mascara doesn't say much else yeah, this is what it looks like. Twist up this pencil from Sleek in Shabby Chic 994. This is one of those twisty up ones. And I love this. which is one of my beauty glazed minis I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel London hashtag instep fix and go my collection one ran out so I'm currently on this one nice because it smells like watermelons. It smells phenomenal. And then just let that set and we are so done. So this is the finished look. As you can see, compared to last time, we got a little bit carried away with this. It is a lot more toned down, a lot more wearable. I do wear this most days for work. In most of the time, if I can't be bothered with the eyeshadow, it is exactly the same, just without the eyes. The lips are the same, the intensity of the highlight, everything is exactly the same apart from the eyes. If I have time, the eyeshadow goes on and this is the one that I'm using most. So anyone, if you can see 
any reviews on this it says it's not a wearable palette it is you just gotta pick and choose mix and match it does work well with the other two if you blend these three together there is colors in here that this one is missing if you don't have these two then is the beauty glaze you've seen this and we mentioned this before is the texto tear text beauty glaze textured shadows palette rose gold edition you will see there is a lot of colours in here, especially on the top row, also down here that you can use in place. And I think this is £7. If you guys like this, and then again, like and subscribe. Hello, my most recent four people, I think, I've gained this month. No, I've gained six this month. So hello, you guys. If you guys are constantly watching this and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. A big thank you once again. Next week, we do have a little surprise in store. There is going to be someone who has been mentioned a hell of a lot of times in my videos, but you haven't seen her yet. There, um, So we have got two special guests. One you will be seeing, the other one will be hiding. Um, you know who you are, those person who will be hiding behind the camera. But yeah, it is. I'm really excited for it. Both All of us are really excited. It's all there, ready to go. We've got a plan in place. I can't wait to film it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I will to film it. And I hope you've enjoyed this one as well. I'm now going to recover. I shall see you all guys next week for a different video. I love you. And I'll see you next week.